Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sea. We are returning to the Empire of Hands. Shock, horror, who could have foreseen this? Strange event. Could you? Probably. It's a pretty... It seems to be what I'm doing at the moment with this, doesn't it? It's, it's, what, it's what's happening. In the Unter Z. It's what we're doing here. We're going to the Empire of Hands. And coming back to London. And going to the Empire of Hands. And then coming back to London. It's, you know... It's what we do, guys. Definitely what we do. The most sensible of things to do. As that is one of the places where we have not really gathered the story properly. You know, there's still stuff to do there that we know of, that we have a clear path to. So, I can't see why I wouldn't go there. You know? You know You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But yeah. I thought we'd be trading some wine with them. For status. Delicious status. And then perhaps that'll be enough for me to do things. More things there, but I don't think it will be. I think we'll need something else. We'll sort of have to make this trip again. Because you're not really supposed to just go there and be done. You know, it's one of those places that you have to visit multiple times. For you to really get anywhere with it. But I imagine it will pay off pretty well. If I, first of all, complete the Zeppelin. Um, calm them, 100% chance. Yeah, I'll just calm them. Gained a fragment. Succeeded in the hearts challenge. Cool. But yeah. Uh, compile a port report. Sure. And then turn to the Empire. So is it just... No, it's not just straight across. But straight across will just take a straight to follow Fleem. Which is sort of enough for me. We'll just casually keep on keep on going. Straight line movement. Again, back to sailing time. That isn't probably sailing time as we don't have any sails, but we're in fact a steam powered ship. Dunno. Probably still called sailing, honestly, now that I think about it a bit more. But it shouldn't be as far as I'm concerned. Uh, restless nights. Uh, inquire about their dreams. Coin flip. Go. Failed. Um, I was in a face. Cool. That keeps happening. You know. A lot of people are seeing eyes in a face. It's, uh, it's not great. It's just sort of, sort of what's going on, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll just sail straight past that. So it's going well. We still got our weird, our strange crew of lunatics and you know, this strange child. Why have we? Why did we? How have we? Why? Why have we done these things? Firing solution. Go. Go. Cool. They didn't last long, did they? Gather up the corpses. Have a supply. One free supply. On the house. Well, I guess in exchange for... Hot lead. One supply in exchange for hot lead. And minor risk. Yep, that seems reasonable. As far as I'm concerned. Bit of minor risk, never hurt anyone. Except for when it turns out that what appeared to be minor risk is in fact a major risk. I mean, I, I don't know how many promotions that would require in the army, but that's that's a significant upgrade. You know. He's gone from someone who's presumably underage and then has been immediately been promoted to a major. The steps there are, are ridiculous, quite frankly. Uh, 
those deadpan jokes. Mmm. <laughs> Don't mind that noise if you can hear it. I'll try not to. Alright, well, we're, we're approaching Polyframe again. Good old Polyframe. You're going to be seeing a lot of Polyframe. I, I think. So, uh, yeah. It's just the way it is, I guess. You know. See a lot of Polyframe. Ever intelligence, yes. Sure, I'll just agree to it now, so that we don't have to stop here again and make the journey back a bit simpler, I guess, maybe. I don't know. It does fill up my hold, though. Which I guess if I need hold space for anything, I'm now screwed myself over massively, but that's... I mean, that's standard, though. That's what I... that's just what I do. So, you know... I knew I needed fuel and things, and what did I do? I filled my hold with stones. Hmm. Good plan. It's just... It's just what you do, really. Filled your hold with rocks when what you need is fuel. Why have you done that, Captain? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. But yeah. Just back, calm, calm time. You know, we've crossed the halfway point there. Just a lot of calm, gentle movement here. Perhaps there'll be something horrible that we have to fight. Probably not. I'm pretty, pretty chill. Chill with the sun and the sea. Bit of general, general crossing of, of the world, effectively. I mean, I guess we could try to sail further east, but... Yeah, that'd be silly. Why would we do that? What sort of an idiot would do that? I mean, I'm planning on doing it at some point. Okay, no. Yeah. Hey. No thanks. You're a, you're a tougher crab than the last one. Um. I've decided that I don't actually want to fight you. Even tougher than normal crab. That has angler fish things glowing out, growing out of its claws. That's a bit strange. That seems impractical, honestly. Also, like a distinct vulnerability when fighting other crabs. I mean, that's a weakness, isn't it? Surely. But, uh, I, I see you there, other giant crab with angler fish things growing and also glowing out of your claws. I'm just going to go up to that probably fairly vulnerable part of you and just snip. You know, sorry about that, but you, you've evolved like an idiot, as far as I can tell. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. You know, you've evolved all this plate armor to keep you safe, effectively. And then what have you done? You've grown something that has to be fairly weak and fleshy out of your primary form of attack. I mean, I'm just gonna remove that from you, just cause, just to spite you. But yeah. Visitor in court. Oh, I've gained status. Oh, okay. Sure. Trade. Uh, we can give them wine. I'm not sure why I'm giving the monkeys alcohol. But that's... Um, yeah. That's very strange. Um... The Islamic Gallery. Plan fuel for the Zeppelin? Yeah, plan fuel for the Zeppelin. Trusted agent to establish a relationship with the Iron Republic. I mean, I need two more stages for that, but we'll just go for this. We'll make it easier. Central provides you with a signed contract and language that is unlikely any human can read. If you take it to the Iron Republic, they will provide you with hydrogen. We'll take several tr trips to fully supply the Zeppelin, but there will be no charge. Cool, I can do that. That's easy. Back to the court. Uh, I guess I'm done. I'll quickly uh, go here and talk to the treasure hunter for some more dynamite. Yep. Bit of extra dynamite. 
just the way. Um, do I have any wounds? I just want to check how badly wounded do you think I could be in this one? This one uh, sort of moment. Also, can I speak to you? No. Journal, would it be in journal? It'd be on a menaces, wouldn't it? Nightmares, suspicion, Carnegie and suspicion. Oh. And a recurring nightmare watched. I guess I don't have any menaces. Um. Saxon Snow. Stone Child Melted, yeah. Yeah, that's, that did happen. Um. Let's wake up the Devil Lesson London. Do I need to do anything with that? Hmm. No. I guess. Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> oh. Retrieve strategic information from the Chilenate far to the east. Oh. Why haven't I done that? I don't know. I can do that, probably. Um. But yeah, I don't have any wounds. I kind of want to see what this does. Just join a raid on the Empire of Hands. Often raid the mainland for both supplies and support. The more the merrier, you are told. High risk. 24% chance. Is it likely to give me bad wounds? I'm not with no more than 10 supplies. Sure. Quite a trophy. Have no fear. Have you back on your feet in a jiffy, so we will. Uh, tooth and Claw. The raid goes well until one of the monkeys lands a hit with a bayonet that rips open a searing tear. That is not, however, the painful part. The painful part is after the boisterous pirate notices. As much as you protest, there is no stopping him. He has two of his pirates lie on top of you and hold you still as he uncorks the bottle and lavishes it upon the poor flesh. Oh, you have one wound. You lost five Empire of Hands. Oh. Pfft. Idiots. Well then. Uh, let's not do that again. That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth doing. Um, cool. Chilinate. Oh god, that's quite a distance up. Up north. Okay, I guess... Do we want to try that? We... I guess we will. Sure. Actually, no, we won't go all the way. We'll go up as far as, um... London is, and then we'll... Go back via Godfall, I guess. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's reasonable, trust me. You can trust me to be reasonable. You lied. I mean, I did. I just talked to him third person. That's ample evidence that you can't trust me to be reasonable. Come on. Believe me. In at least one of those statements. Pick one. Um. What? What is this? Okay. I mean. What on... I'm sorry, what? Good lord. I'm not sure I want to be here. I've, I've changed my mind. Significantly. There's, like, spiders here? I'm not, I'm not too worried about the spiders. But that thing? What the hell is that? The Tree of Ages? What the hell? What is this? Just, just what's going on here? Also, you've got some cobwebs here. Um, Saviour's rocks. The sound of their constant motion is like pebbles on a beach. Scattered reaches. Intricate webs stretch into a darkness where the shadows are never entirely still. Preparing for the festival of silk. The glamorous of the nativity is broken by the reds and golds of freshly hung banners. Um. Got some of thread stolen by the breeze. Tickle the goosebumps on your skin. A thousand unseen eyes promise a million more. Bring light into the darkness. The sorrow spiders avoid the candlelight, but not out of any sense of fear. They're far from tolerant of outsiders. They cared little enough for their abandoned webs to turn a blind eye to at least a little scavenging up to a point. So you can get silk with a challenge and candles. And that's a high-risk challenge of 23%. In this wasteland, only the false stars and the roof of the Neef illuminate the webs and ruins the Sorrow Spider's cool home. You may still stumble upon something, though, or indeed into something. 
course in the worms of Savies Rock, no more than 90. I can prepare for the festival of film. <laughs> oh, you can trade supplies for silk. That's it's pretty valuable. Delivery of trinkets. An almost entirely leg legitimate silk trader urgently requests your help with a delivery to fall on London. Trinkets, just trinkets. Um, well, I guess I'll help. Oh, you need wine to get a port report. That's costly. Um, hmm. Is this for festival preparations? Uh, the traders in the city have little practice showing up appreciation, but at least put in an effort. In particular, they not entirely accidentally let slip the secret of the Accord of Grace, hospitality granted visitors by the generous neighbours of whom they will speak no ill. They do have a hint that this only applies to travellers arriving through the port. Those unlucky enough to run aground on the rocks consider themselves... But no, no, a sorry spider might hear something they would, of course, never say. Okay. That's interesting. Meet with an emissary of spiders. He's witnessed much yet seen nothing since the sorry spiders he serves harvested his eyes. Okay. Sure, I'll take this, though. Trinkets? Just trinkets, confirms the man, holding out the box. From inside comes a slight cracking sound, a hiss, and a scratch that hints at nail on wood. Trinkets, he repeats, not meeting your eyes. Cool. Um, we're just... We're, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna go. That's... That's alright by you guys. We're not gonna stick around. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Sun and Sea. Um, we're, we're going back to London now. Yeah, I'll see you next time. More Sun and Sea.